I've been going through this machine um, checking these holes and what I'm finding is a lot of this there's a lot there's, there's a lot of plugging going on and it wasn't done properly which means these holes because these these are posts sitting right behind the saucer here so it's a it's a target that gets hit often so these posts have probably been ripped out and replaced and finally been plugged with this but it's not doing the job anymore so instead of trying each hole with a post and a screw and then taking it out again drilling it and plugging it I'm just gonna go through the whole machine and plug anything that looks remotely wide um, so I'll make a little video of how I do one of them but I'm not going to show you how I do all of them because it's just boring repetitive stuff here's another one that looks suspicious because that looks like glue and it's sticking up above the surface of the playfield Try and loosen it a bit. Now normally this isn't part of a of a service, just a normal service. If it's one or two holes that are stripped, then I do that as part of the service. But doing all of them is not normal for me because then it becomes a restoration and it becomes a big job. Let's get some bigger tools. Maybe not such a good idea to cut it off. But at least then I'll be able to see what's going on with this hole and then maybe just drill it out like the other one. Yeah, it's got a corona of glue around the hole. So I'll drill that one out as well. Since I think I'm going to do this with almost almost half the holes, if not if not most of them. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. This little hole you can see there has got a, a stick in it as well. <laughs> okay. This one to the left of that target. And this is sort of par for the course when you when you're trying to keep machines just standing on the stoop of a of a cafe, just trying to keep them from standing still and not taking any coins. This is standard practice. But these machines should not be sold for the 20, 25 grand that um, the guys are selling them for. Because that's the sort of thing you find. They're, they need to be rebuilt properly and then they're worth 25 grand. I mean this is a magnetron and it's a lacquer game to play. It's a, almost a collectible item because it's a because it's a Krinsky. Well in my eyes I don't see many people even knowing who Krinsky was. Not in this country. But um, so yeah in, in decent playing condition it's probably worth 20 maybe even 30 if it's nicely done. With a new play field it's probably worth 25-30. But not with stuff like this in it. With, you, know, you need to take care of that. Mm. Let's see if we can find more. Let's just show you a quick overview of what these holes look like. <laughs> that one there 
definitely needs to be drilled out. That looks like a hole that has a T nut in the bottom, but it doesn't. It's just a it's just a hole. So carrying on with these, and I'm going to drill out all of them. This one's been plugged to the one side. Okay, let's see what that one yields. So it's difficult to tell whether your machine has this kind of abuse going on. Holy crap. So the original hole is there and the plug is over here. So oh, I've got Okay, I'm gonna have to measure that, drill that out carefully, plug that one first. Then drill that one out to a bigger size and plug that one. <laughs> Holy moly. Touched by an angel it wasn't. Touched by the village idiot more likely. But that's the way it's done. Okay, now I have the whole board gone over and I've had the holes, you know, drilled and plugged. So now I'm going to drill pilot holes down the center just where I've made the mark with a little awl and start putting the posts back.
So here's the screw. <laughs> right, so here's the screw that was in this hole. <laughs> I'm going to replace it with a stainless one that looks like that. Um, the originals are similar. This one is not quite original, <coughs> but it's it's pretty close and it's available locally, so we're going to do that. So it goes into the post, gets stuck into the pilot, and with a suitable power tool, it just gets tightened up. <coughs> now these are post fasteners. They have the little top spike that is used to mount the plastics on. And that is a quarter inch nut, or 6.35, but quarter inch, 6.5 mil will get you there. If you can, try and get yourself some basic <coughs> imperial tools. So if you have a screwdriver like this, that end there is a quarter inch. Can I not going anywhere. Now I have some deep sockets that are quarter inch. I have, a, I have an imperial set. But most people don't. Most people just have metric stuff. But that is useful. Magnetron is done and we've done a fair bit of work on it. There was an issue down here with the double bonus relay had a dirty switch and the last ball relay had a dirty switch. In combination with that the, the bonus score relay over here 
uh, the dirty switch and in combination it caused a very weird effect that it would pay out single bonus but not double bonus. On double bonus the machine would stall and just keep adding thousands. But we found it. And then I changed um, these bonus lamp connectors, all of them. Took the wire from a little tab there and soldered it right onto the back of the little lamp plunger. And also made, made sure that these barrels connect to the bracket by putting this little solder blob in here. Um, this flipper got stuck. When it pulled in, it got stuck at the bottom there. It was as if this plunger was sticking to the coil stop. We put in a bushing for this pin because this link was worn out around here and it was causing funny things. So at first we thought that was the issue, it wasn't that. And then we shoved some, a little bit of a stopper down there to just to separate the two metals of that and the coil stop at the end. The coil stop is this button here. Um, and so it's not sticking anymore. <laughs> but that kept us busy for a day or two. Also, um, when I removed the flipper bracket, the holes that it was screwed into were completely worn out. And there was like three sets of three sets of holes. So I had to plug them all and redraw them and reseat the, the flipper bracket. But he's there now. It's all right. That's as far as the innards are concerned. Blyfield was cleaned, polished, new rubber everywhere, no more funny cable tie stuff. And it plays, it runs, and it, uh, it's not getting stuck or bouncing anywhere. We have a bit of, you know, some old damage here and there and there, but you know what, it is what it is. All lamps on the top have been done. So a quick rundown here is that you have the lanes and the horseshoe and the saucer. So if you hit the saucer, it gives you a whole value and it adds bonus and it opens your gate. Gate is nice in this machine because it gives you an opportunity to shoot for the A, which is not really a clear shot from here, from the bottom. So this lights, this rollover lights B, and the top middle rollover lights A, and when you hit them it's 500 points and add bonus, otherwise they're just 100. So the bonus, is, the bonus goes from 0 to 15. The first 3,000 is 1,000 whole value. Next 3, the next 3, the next 3, the next 3 until you have full bonus. And that's pretty much the game. This is obviously a very lucrative shot. You hit it down here, you get 500 and add bonus, plus another 500 points. And then the kicker kicks it that way, so you get another 500 and another 500 and another bonus. So it's 2000 plus 2000 bonus for each time you hit it down there. And if you get all the lanes on, these light up for special. Um, and in any case, there are a thousand points. So I think the money shot is right up here. You hit a thousand, you get the bumper, you go down here, 
cut ching, do that over and over, Bob's your uncle. But the party trick, of course, is this horseshoe. So people are always tempted to shoot for the horseshoe. That's 500 points and, and the bonus booster. I don't know what that does, I suppose it's just bonus. What I should have mentioned about this shot is that when you hit it and the ball goes to the other side, every time you do that, it's 500 points and bonus booster. And bonus booster turns out is three of these on the bonus tree, which means that these move up one dot. So that's why it's a tempting shot. Um, and it's a satisfying shot, but it's dangerous because the ball, your ball will go up there and across and down, straight down the middle. Um, but it's also a Krinsky, brought to you by the designer of uh, Spirit of 76, Royal Flush, El Dorado, and so on. So this is in the same heritage. It's a nice game. Thanks for watching.